Uh, my name is Heather Clark, and I have been um, a member of a five-person LGBT Dialogue Steering Committee. What advice for other congregations would you have, congregations who are thinking about embarking on this dialogue? Hmm. I think something I already alluded to is just to accept that this is a process that can't be hurried. And it especially, you know, our, our community is, say, 60 adults. Um, many congregations are way larger than that. So um, it really is something that takes time. Um, you know, n not only not only the time to um, do the practical steps, but just for people to integrate this process that's going on to kind of receive what's being given and reflect on it. Time to just test out what the boundaries are and, um, you know, whether the things that are in place are going to lead to a safer and better process. Um, maybe time to, uh, you know, do interpersonal work or inner healing work or reconciliation work if, you know, people have gotten into something with someone else or had some, you know, hurtful interactions. So um, I think that's the big thing. It's just, just really to take time and to trust and wait um, on God. And, you know, we, we really, um, I think having someone, you know, within our community and um, on our dialogue steering committee, who's a gay Christian, has just been such a gift, both simply for who that person is and, you know, the integrity with which he's been on this journey and just the real honor of, you know, him putting himself, you know, in our community's hands in a certain way, um, that's just huge. And so I think that has helped us all take it more seriously that, you know, this is not an academic exercise. Um, I think for the younger generation in our community, there, there was already a, just more of a sense of urgency because the younger generation just has more exposure and, um, you know, maybe knows more, more people. Um, so, you know, people really with a sense of, well, this is important. We need to keep this moving. It's not just something to, you know, um, let drag on, um, trying to get it perfect or whatever. So, um, just that sense of, finding a balance between, you know, kind of everybody going on a journey together and all the little side trips and, you know, um, delays that involves, but also that people do have a sense of we are moving, um, maybe very slowly, but we're all moving and hopefully we're staying together. And that's, um, you know, I think if we've had one overarching hope is just that, you know, we, we would be in union with each other. We would not um, think of cutting off part of the body or, you know, injuring or those, you know, those things. Um, Yeah, and, and time, you know, 
time to face our fears and um, give them time to speak as well. So, 